Hey everyone, it is 10.36 on a Sunday evening, and it's Easter Sunday. So, happy Easter to everyone out there. It'll probably, probably be a little late when you see this, but better late than never, as they say. Anyway, in front of you here are all the lights of various shapes and sizes I have acquired over the past month, apart from a handful. Um, the three rotating beacons, because I can't reach them at the minute, but you've seen those in previous videos. Um, plus, up top, just going to loosen that off a bit so it doesn't creep so much. I've got them spotlights up there, as you can see. I also got from Carburet for 50p each. So I've got overhead lighting, so if I do that, we light up. I don't actually know if that's made any difference, but... So, two of the items on here came from eBay. Two of them came from Lidl's. Actually, no, there's more came from eBay. Because I forgot all of these lamps here, the um, barricade lights, they all came from eBay. Dipstick. Anyway. My brain's not functioning tonight, I don't think. And again, does it ever? I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> but, um... Actually, some came from my brother's caravan. So, we'll have a little look-see show. I'm going to start with the bicycle lights, because they're right here at the front. So, I went to a car boot yesterday. Alsham car boot. Um, it was jam-packed. The um, guy that organises the um, Alsham car boot, he was turning away stall holders because he had no room. The whole the whole field was just full. So um, anyway, there was a stall there selling all sorts of random stuff, bunch of bike parts, including these. Um, my brother actually bought a PS One for five pounds. Um. And I was looking at these. He had all of these lights in separate bags with brackets in pairs, as they are here. I've taken them out of the bags because they're driving me nuts. Um, we also had two big bags of um, light brackets for the lights over the back here. Um, which I got lumbered with as well. <laughs> whole lot for just £10. That was a bargain. And I really only wanted a few because... They were different. I've always liked this style of bicycle light. I loved these when I was young. I always wanted a pair. Never actually got a pair of these when I was young. What I had when I was in high school was actually a pair of these Everreddies. In this colour as well, in the white colour. Um, these all need their battery terminals cleaned and whatnot. But these square ones, as you have probably saw from the other one, they're Halfords brand. Actually, they're all Halfords brand, apart from the pair of white ones over the back there, which are um, ever ready. The white-bodied ones. So, these ones don't work. But one problem I've found with these is, if I can just get this one open, or get any one of them open. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of these in my workshop down at Mums. But these wires, they tend to get some, um, like, some sort of coating on them. These ones are actually clean, so I haven't got to worry about these. I'll, I'll still give them a bit of a clean. And it gets it on the bar. I don't know what the coating is. I've never seen it on any other bicycle light, just these ones. It always stops them from working. I have to get in here and really clean up all the contacts. That's what I've got to do with these ones. But this set they do actually work and I really don't know why I just really love that design um, I don't know one of mine actually I think I've got one actual pair and two odd ones down at the workshop because uh, it did have two pairs but one had gotten old and brittle and actually just disintegrated in my hand one day so my big head might be getting in the way so let's move these two out of the way uh, I'm going to bring these ones forward. I actually have to say, 
these were a favourite of mine as well. I've got a set of these in use on one of my Rally Mountain bikes. It's actually on my Rally Max, my green one. Uh, in black, and it has the brake light feature, because everybody did a version of these, where the rear one doubled up as a brake light. Um, just plug the switch wire into the back here, and there's some circuitry in there. That not only made the light come on when it was in the off position like that, but when you turned it on, it made it go brighter when you hit the brake. And it was as simple as just a little switch that goes on the brake cable at the brake cleaver. And one of these days, I'll have to show you. One of these has got a corroded battery spring in, and I can't remember which one. But these two work, although the contacts do need a clean because I had to wiggle the switch a bit. And these are actually Halfords as well. Yeah. Show us what it's got. Yeah. On yep, it's a bit more. I don't know if it's going to be readable on camera. It's a bit dark, isn't it? But on the top here, where everybody usually is, that's got um, Halfords. At one point, I actually sold most of them now, but I had loads of these in different colours. I had a green pair, I had a pink pair, I had the white pair, I had a black pair. I don't know why, I just went on a bit of a collecting spree and then I sold them all for some reason. And now I'm collecting them again. Don't ask, because I don't know either. <laughs> anyway, these are the next. These are three pairs. This one needs a lot of work on the contacts. Those ones work. I think these ones might need a little work on the contacts as well. But again, Halfords branded lights. I can actually see it right across the front there. Big built-in reflector, so bit of extra visibility there as well and again just in three different colours so like a turquoise greeny blue colour uh, white and sort of a dark grey colour actually so I can't remember what ones I was actually going to leave those ones and I think I was going to originally take this, this pair Oh, that was it. I was going to leave that white pair of lights and uh, the white pair of Ever Ready's, but we did a deal for the whole lot for a tenner, so I didn't think that was worth just leaving a couple of pairs behind. But, uh, I don't think I ever saw lights like this in use on bikes around here. I don't actually remember seeing them in the store when I was a teenager either. Then again, as a Halfords branded, you could probably only get those from Halfords. Right, I have to keep hitching my jeans up because um, I bought a new belt because the other one, one hole basically became three. <laughs> so it wasn't doing anything and I've mistakenly bought a belt that's a bit too big. So what I need to do is pop an extra hole in it. I've got it on the last hole but it's still, uh, you know, still rather loose around the middle. Either that or I've miraculously lost weight, but I think I'm being optimistic on that one. Anyway, I'm going to get this big one out of the way. This was an eBay purchase. Yes, it's a spotlight rack with two spotlights on, complete with a piece of flex. This was actually just a random purchase as well. Um, and a bit nostalgic, I think, because lights like this you used to see lots of in shops. These can be slid along the rack, I see. I can slide it along. Um, and I can even add to this because on the end of this back of this lamp right in there, there is a little socket. So if you had another one of these, you could add another one. And that one doesn't want to slide along though for some reason. It goes, goes one way, but then gets stuck right there I don't know if there's something getting in the way oh there's a screw getting in the way that's why there we go now that the screws out of the way that should slide all the way along so yeah you can adjust them you can, the usual spotlight adjustment as well you know round and round up and down left and right but yeah I used to see these in the shops and this isn't what actually attracted to or caught my eye from this eBay seller first I'll show you the other one but this, I think, is going to go up in my bedroom in place of that fluorescent light. 
that I've got above all the um, retro PCs and whatnot. What actually I found first was this, by the way I paid £6 for those spotlights, which was cheap, was this. I would just randomly put an eBay search strip light and this came up for 99p. So I put a bid in and won it. Um, this looks like, well very much like a homemade job. I mean, yeah, these reflectors, I've just realised, these light fittings are actual light fittings, very old ones, but light fittings. And um, this, someone has just shaped some aluminium to make these little shades. That bulb has actually blown because I can see the filament, I don't know about that one. And I've literally just connected it to a junction box, so I'm guessing I had a cable come off of that. I don't know if this was made for a display or if this was like above a workbench or something. Maybe many years ago, you know, they needed the extra light, so they put two of these together. But uh, I am not turning this on with this wire. That is seriously old wiring, and it's only single insulated. It's not double insulated cables like we have today. Um, and sort of looking at that in there as well, um, yeah. I wouldn't mind getting it going, but I'd have to rewire it, I think. Oh, that one's a bit loose as well, a bit loosey-goosey. What I might actually do is just dismantle it and get rid of these stupid things. Or remake it on a better piece of wood, because this edge isn't cut right either. Um, so yeah, I might do away with these shades altogether. Yeah, these, <laughs> these low fittings are actually just pressed into these um, makeshift shades. I'm not kidding, they're just pressed it. There's no screws holding them in. The only screws there are holding these wobbly shades. Yeah. yeah. Probably worked like uh, 50 years ago, but definitely wouldn't want to use it now. Let's put that over there out of the way. So, yeah, it would, literally, I was just being random on eBay and I thought, 99p, get it. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to do. Caravan lights last. So another random buy. Only because I remember these from years ago, you know. Not as an outside light because there is no waterproof connection here for an outside light. So this is interior only. Um, I could actually put this in my bathroom if I wanted. Ouch, that was loud. If I wanted, you know, to go retro style in my bathroom. Because it's an enclosed light fitting, which is what my one's got to have because of the um, dimensions. Um, but I remember seeing things like this in schools. In fact, my high school had a number of these dotted around the place. And I think I can tell why, because this really does feel quite cheap. The brand is Apollo Circular, and it can take up to 100 watt. 230 volt, 50 hertz. Oh, 230 volt. That's not that old then if it's got that voltage rating on it. IP44 double insulated. Yeah, because all of this is plastic, so you just need the two wires. And yes, you can take the lamp holder off. And uh, actually, if this is IP44, you might be able to use it as an outside light. And the fact that I just remembered you can actually take the lamp holder off and put your own wires on. I probably would, because for some reason this has got cloth insulated wires on it. And it is actually cloth. It's not something you see a great deal of these days. I have no room in the kitchen, so I'm going to just put this back where it was, I think. <laughs> um, so that was a pound. Just because I like that shape of light. If you didn't know, and you're new to this channel, I like lights. Lots of various lights. Um, especially older lighting, like 99% of this here is, apart from that one and an LED one there. So, well, I suppose if I want to be accurate with percentages, that would be 98% of them are old. <laughs> so, I've got a couple of these clip-up lights. I've actually got three of these clip-up lights in total now. That one's... Yikes. <laughs> Stay up there. 
That one's actually got a very short cable. I've paid a pound each for these as well. I don't think I really need them now. Because uh, I found the 50p ones up the top there. Because I was going to clip these up above the worktop for some extra light. But like I said, I later found those 50 pence ones at the car boot. So they went up. But yeah, just standard clip lights. That did come with a bulb which works. But I've taken it out for some reason. Don't know. I <laughs> just took it out. That one I don't think this one came. No it didn't. It didn't come with a bowl. So. Chuck those up there. Um, and these I actually did buy for a reason. These are just standard little batten fittings. Um, because my brother's got the caravan. And it's been totally gutted. And I didn't know what sort of lighting he was going for, and I haven't got many of these. I don't know if you want a, you know, a light like this or something fancy. He's actually opted for something fancy, as he's um, re technically refurbishing it, but in his own way. It's definitely going to be not going to be usable as a caravan when we're done, but it's getting there. But yeah, he he's no longer using these, so I've just got a couple of spare batten fittings here for something. They will go in my electrical box out in the closet. I think that's where I might put a lot of these out of the way. Right. Sticking with the caravan theme. Apart from that one, these, those, that, those and those all came out of my brother's caravan. Like I said, it's... It's all been gutted. There's no in cupboards, there's no seating, there's no um, partitioned bathroom areas. It's all gone. There's one big empty shell, which is what he decided to do, because quite frankly, that needed a hell of a lot of work to bring it back to usable condition. Not anymore, because that's been fixed, but it would have made a good trailer. The chassis is absolutely fine on it. I've actually got a good sturdy chassis. I've been underneath it. Because um, that's where I'm taking the, the, the main supplies going in underneath. So I had to crawl under it to clip it out of the way. Anyway. I don't know if I'm going to keep all of these. But I would love to do something with these. Because I think these are nice little light fittings. 12 volt. Um, but they're recessed, so I'd have to make something up. <laughs> um, but they do adjust. These were above where the um, the seating was. Well, basically, it, um, above the seating, you know, what would have transformed into the bed. I'm guessing these would have been like little night lights or reading lights or something, as there's one either side. It's two berths, so would have slept two people anyway they are metal as well it's not plastic some sort of quality there although you wouldn't have thought it when you took it apart because <laughs> these caravans I'm not surprised when they catch fire that they go up as fast as they do because it's just the way I would describe it is they're made out of bloody paper the plywood is super thin Super, super thin. You know, I would have thought, as when you buy a caravan, you know, they're thousands and thousands of pounds brand new. And I would have thought for the price of them, they would have put a bit more quality in and the woodwork in it. It really did feel... I mean, it does the job. There wasn't anything broken on the woodwork side of things in there. So I suppose I shouldn't complain about it too much. But it, just, it did. It just feels cheap. I think that's what I didn't like. It just felt cheap, even though it was doing a perfectly adequate job. Anywho, I've got a mains operated fluorescent light. That was actually, actually, when I speak English, above the um, sink and stove area on the front of the cabinets, the overhead cabinets. Um, there is end caps to go on there, but they were a bit brittle. One split in half. Yeah, it's actually over here, the one that's split in half. And I actually don't know where the whole one disappeared to. It might be over on the worktop over there. 
It's behind you. Uh, I think I've got enough room on there, so I'm not going to move anything else off the worktop. These ones are Labcraft. I don't know the make of that fluorescent light. All those little ones, to be honest, although I've never looked. Is there anything on it? No, there's nothing on it anyway. It's got a little sticker in there, but that just I think it just tells you the bulb information. Yeah, it's just... It's actually quite hard to... Yeah, just a warning sticker in there, that's all that is. But these are made by Labcraft, and I believe they used to make a heck of a lot for caravans and campers and things. Twin fluorescent, there's one there and one there. Um, these were the main lights. They sat recessed in the roof. So um, the 8 watt tubes, 12 volt DC, uh, I've just got in brackets, will, um, well 10 slash 14 volts. So I'm presuming they will light down to 10 volts and will work fine up to 14 volts. It actually says 16 watt, 1 to 3 amp. And it's got a big cross through a um, transformer there. Um, and beside it, it's got 220 volt, 12 volt AC. These will not run on AC. In fact, you will damage them. Been there, done that one. It has to be DC. So if you can find a 12 volt DC adapter, these will work. See, initially I was going to leave these up, but my brother decided to clad the hole inside of the caravan. Which would have meant these were going to be in the way anyway. So I took these down. Because, because they're recessed I wouldn't really have anywhere to put them. But I like them. I've actually still got one down in my shed. That's what I was using for lighting originally down there. And then there's four of these single 8 watt fluorescent lights. That's why that's 16 watt by the way these ones. Because there's two 8 watt tubes in. Um... Labcraft again, just like that, same warning labels all on them, 12 volt DC, 10 to 14 volts, minus 0 degrees centigrade to up to 30 degrees centigrade, I'm guessing that's the operating temperature. It's even got the model number on here, which is GL8 slash A. And that's it, Labcraft products. Don't know, can I get the cover off of this one? That's all it is on the inside. Got the little driver board, a little simple switch, built in switch on the end there. It's not a separate switch. It's the tube. It literally has one wire plugged on the end there. It's like one of those, um, not spade crimps, the other side of it, the female side. Same that end, that's all it is. And the tube just presses in. I think these can take three tubes max on different models because there's another clip there and another one there. And I know you can get some of these lights that have three tubes. So I'm guessing that's why it's got it and why it's got that sort of three setting switch on here as well. And the post right there that you can put another contact round because um, on is actually in the middle. So it doesn't matter if you go left or right, it's then off. So, yeah, I'm guessing there's other models of these Labcraft lamps you can get where they include the extra tubes. But just, you know, save money by having the single fitting. Which is actually a good idea. So he's having, you know, umpteen moulds and things. So I've got four of those. Three of them I've got the white backing because they are on the walls, which was sort of like a whitey colour anyway. This one... It's got the brown backing, and I'm presuming, as this was on the um, on the underside of the cabinet above the sink area, that they put the brown backing on to try and you know match it better, which makes sense. But uh, I think I like these lights because I like that frosted look on the front here of these um, shades. But yeah, I've always had a soft spot for these uh, little 12 volt caravan lantern lanterns, lanterns. How's a lantern? Right, stack those up. 
I would like to put those somewhere as well. The problem is I've got so many lights now, nowhere to put them. <laughs> Not even as a decorative piece. Anyway, moving on. The last pair of caravan lights were these ones. 230 volt, mains operated. Pull cord's not going to work because this thing keeps moving around. It's got to be up there. It's where it's got to be. And then you pull on the switch. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's real brass. I'm pretty certain that's not going to be real brass. And uh, yeah, they just take an ordinary BC light bulb. Nice glass shade. Need it clean. I suppose I could put eBay these or something. Because you could put them up as wall lights in your home. It would just mean making a big hole in the wall to hide this thing. Possibly even using a smaller connector than that. Because that's quite a large one they've used on there. I actually noticed that. They went a bit overkill on the bloody connectors on there. Not a bad thing. Because it means that they're not going to bloody melt if, you know, anything goes wrong. You know, they've got the extra leeway there, so yeah, so I'm going to do the new ones next. This was a random buy out of Lidl's, it's just an under cabinet light. And I actually think I will put this up under the cabinets at the end there. It's just a little lever, on off switch. Um, I think you can link these because there's that there with a, the electrical hazard symbol on it. That's just one of those sorts, well, what we call a snake eyes plug cable that goes on there. Le the, um, these Levano lights, I think that's made by Levano, this one. Yep, Levano Lux. Um, you might think, you know, Lidl's being a cheap store. Um, and German, you might think stuff like this is crap, but it's not. I've actually got a lot of Levano light fixtures around this flat. And they're still going strong. Touch wood. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd um, I'd recommend them. Well, actually, I wouldn't say these are cheap, but I'd say they're sort of fairly priced. Something like that's going to cost you sort of seven or eight quid. I think I got this one. That was reduced though. I think that's, that's probably the only reason why I've got it. Same with this one. I will get this out of the box. Well, I bought two of these and one's on my new bed. But because these were on offer again, um, I think these were a couple of quid off, something like that. I got them for $6.99 each anyway. But I just bought one. Now this does feel quite cheap because the whole lot is plastic. That's plastic, that's plastic, that's plastic. But it looks nice, even though if these are plastic they it still looks nice I mean there's no bragging rights and saying you know like that's chrome or something but don't care it looks good good enough for me and it's actually quite bright I might take you through to show you the one on the bed actually because we're nearly done here so one torch at the car bin sales and this is a Bardic lamp. I think I might have mentioned this in one of my previous videos. There we go, it just changes uh, colour. Little Bardic railway signal lamp. With a switch that I couldn't pull off for a second there. It doesn't always go stiff, but that switch has a habit of randomly doing it. And then the final lot of lights. Aside from those rotating beacons I can't reach to include in this. I've got a bunch of um, road lamps. Actually, I've got five. Actually, I think I bought this one over a month ago, but it was in the kitchen, so I included it. Although, I did get a bracket for it. Well, I ordered two. I only got one. So hopefully, I have contacted the seller, and he, they said, after Easter... Tuesday, they will ship another one out. Mistakes happen. All I've got to do is just be distracted for whatever reason, you know. Misread the order. That's all it takes. 
So I'm not mad. But what I will be if they don't send out the second one. <laughs> anyway, so we've got the LED light from Dorman. I've got a green one of those arriving in August. That's why I want to buy two brackets. So I've got one ready for when I get that lamp. This one arrived the other day, a few days ago. An amber highlight from Dorman. I've just realised I've included a blue one there, but I didn't get that one recently. I've only just realised, I've nearly got through the video and I've only just realised this one shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh well. Yes, yeah, so that's the um, Warrior Traffic Systems. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of those. But this is the highlight. They do an ordinary version which will run on one or two lantern batteries. The highlights will only run on one and they're actually quite bright. I don't know how well that's coming up on camera. It is actually quite bright. So, I actually bought this because at first I wanted to put green lenses on it, but when I got it I thought, nah, <laughs> don't want to now. I'm just going to leave it as it is because I don't have many of these highlights. In fact, I've only got the two here. And then there was this weird thing. Um, just a, a Chinese branded lamp. Interplex Solar D-Light LED. It's got on-off function and then you can switch it between flashing or not flashing, whichever you know you need or prefer. And unlike these lamps that take the big 6 volt lantern batteries, this one takes D-cell batteries. I don't have one at hand, but I'm sure most of us will know what a D-cell is. You know, the big, fat, chunky, round ones. Um, and again, this will either run on four or two. So I've just got two rechargeables in it. And for cone mounting, it's actually got this bit here. But the problem is I find it's not very stable. And there is like a white reducer piece that goes in there as well. So I suppose you can put it on a narrower cone or something. But yeah, I actually found that weren't very... But apparently you can get a cone bracket for this. And some of them, there are models that actually have a solar panel in here. So you can put your D-cell batteries in there and a solar panel that takes up this whole bit there. And charge it up during the day. So, in summer, your batteries will never go flat when it's on site. Because there's not many dark hours and the bright sun during the day will keep your batteries topped up. So... <clears throat> um, oh, and this one, this cute little Tildorn with a blue lens, a Tildorn Pilot 360. It hasn't got the sticker on the side, but it's on the bottom. Would have been made for the emergency services. It's not very bright because it's just got a standard incandescent bulb in it, but you know, it'll do for night use and it flashes. It's actually got a um, uh, what they call it, um, a solar cell in it. I'm not sure if they did. I think they did a Zenon version of that as well. But uh, don't hold me to that one because I can't quite remember. I think they did a Zenon version. Uh, I know with the Tildorn Guardsman they did a Zenon version, so it's quite possible. So, ouch. Kick the box a little. You having a look at the floor? What's the floor like? Do I have a nice floor? <laughs> Let's just tighten this lever up. I loosened it so it didn't uh, creak when I panned you up to look at the spotlights. Well, there's the box that my um, other spotlights came in. I didn't include these because I'd already did a video rewiring. But there's the lamp in position. I bought some flex and just ran it across there down to a switch, clipped it down through the back and then it just plugs into an outlet down there so all I've got to do is whoop, let there be light so I've gotten rid of my little spotlight up there which I liked but it actually looked rather untidy so yeah mum made me buy a new bed <laughs> so I've got a new wooden framed bed my old one's outside the front door here waiting to go down the tip 
box of random crap there. Uh, that reminds me, I've got a bunch of stuff to go down to Mum's. I'm going to take that down tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, another thing I've got is this uh, TV. Got it off a friend for 20 quid. Works, no remote. It's a little bit scruffy around the edges, but I was going to was going to use it as a monitor but my youngest brother he thinks it's going to be too big for that gap so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it up there one day when I feel up to it and uh, just see what it's like if I don't like it or I think it's too big or whatever then I'll just swap it back for that monitor and uh, I don't know sell a TV whoops sell a TV on or something I don't know <sighs> so, lights, lights, and more bloody lights. I'm really not sure, before anyone asks in the comments, why I like all these different lights like I do. You know, I've got all sorts. I've got them all stacked up in a cupboard, you know, especially commercial sort of lights. So I've got a few of them in there. I've got the old street light. The old sock street light. I've got a couple of socks floodlights in there. I've got some emergency lights. I've got my modified illuminated exit sign. I don't know. I just like them, I guess. You know, just a, a random weird interest. So, I think I'm going to shut the video down here because it's probably gone on for quite a while now, hasn't it? So... Thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. Any questions or comments, put them down in the comments below. And, uh, or even any, uh, you want to poke fun, because I collect lamps and whatnot, and feel free to do that. Get it out of your system. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye!